okay beautiful people so you can see i have put them in this tray right here all right now money i would pre-eat it but um i did not okay i'm just going to the kitchen again with chef record i know it is um it's in the christmas season and a lot of people are doing things at home so anyway i decide to do the christmas cake i'm gonna be making two small cake because a lot of people are saying are you going to bake and i said yes i'm going to be doing a little bit of baking but not too much you know what i mean um so i'm gonna show you exactly how to do it so big up on yourself beautiful people my love from chef Ricardo to you and my respects are stay blessed and let's jump straight into it so this is the first thing i want to show you what i've been doing i'm going to be using my air fryer to do the cake so i have it on baking set right here and also one hour and 30 minutes one hour and 30 minutes is two side i'm going to be using so that's looking good so far so right over here i got the mixed spices right here guys we got cinnamon mixed spice and and ground it not the egg right here i got four medium-sized eggs and i remove the ice from it also right here we have one cup of brown sugar which i'm going to be using we got one half a lime zest right here we got some food browning now right over here we have half cups of unsalted butter also we have one teaspoon of lemon juice right over here we have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour right here we have one and a half cups of fruit mixture so you can use whatever raisin santana everything what you need to do because i have it soaked in my um roman red label wine for a very long time um we got the vanilla and we have baking powder also and you can get yourself a copy of my brand new book so guys things looking good so we're gonna just jump straight into this and make it this beautiful cake also i have two tray which i'm already i butter them up you can butter them or you can put some flour and shake it if you like to or if you just want to leave it just like that to bake your cake that means that it's easier to come out okay so we're going to show you exactly how to do this a good vibes all right so you can see i show you all of my ingredients and other things which i'm going to be using to make the cake so it's a step-by-step -step recipe it's a very simple process and you can do it at all now because i'm using two i told i'm doing two small cake two little cake so it's not like i'm doing a big cake so that's why i have it on one hour and 30 minutes so if you're doing a bigger cake you're gonna have to put it for probably about two hour and 30 minutes all right so yeah that's looking really good for the cake hopefully it doesn't burn <laughs> all right nice one so what we're gonna do the first thing we're gonna do guys is to get your sugar so this is the brown sugar I'm going to be using, and it is one cup of brown sugar. All right. Now, this is um, um, soft brown sugar. It's very good for baking. Awesome. All right. Now, we have some unsalted butter, which we're going to be using. So I'm just going to simply um, put it out. And this is just um, half cups of and salted butter right there all right so what we're going to do is combine the butter and the sugar together all right let's get my little um now you can use a whisk or you can use your normal hand whisk this is what i normally use to bake with so we're going to go and start it off like this with a low start off temperature low arm spin <laughs> So you can see the cream, the 
butter and the sugar together. Um, I remember that. <laughs> you know what, Pen? I remember back in the days, guys, I bought this cake tin. Um, yeah, I remember when I used to help my family um, bake Christmas cake every year. We made Christmas cake and it was amazing. It was fun to do it. You know what I mean? Um, let's put this one side. All right. So right here we got one, two, three, four medium sized egg. And there's a secret when you like most Jamaican normally do when they're baking their cakes and they're using eggs. All right. So we intend to remove the eye from the egg and then we put the lemon zest into it. Now this is help to remove the rawness from the cake, from the, 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 the egg and all these things. So what you want to do, just simple, just beat this inside of it for a few seconds. Lovely. That looking good. All right, let's put this aside and let's get these two items right here, okay? And what we're gonna do now is simple. Start it off with roughly about a little bit of the egg. Just like that, okay? So I'm using four medium sized egg and we're going to blend this together. of egg and pour it inside of it and as I say it's just only two medium four medium sized egg So that's the four egg inside of it. All right. Yeah. Um, so we lovely. So that's the four egg, the butter, and the sugar. So we did. One cups of brown sugar, and also we do half cups of butter, unsalted butter, and we do four medium sized egg right here. All right, guys. So let's put this aside for now. All right, and we're gonna show you exactly what you guys gonna need to do now to get in all of that beautiful flavor and taste and texture in it, all right? So number one, I wanna show you a, a way of making this beautiful cake so easy and so delicious and simple. So what we're going to do, we want to get all of the, the wet ingredients into this cake first. So if we start at top, all right? 
with a tablespoon of vanilla. We want to get all of this mixture, dry in wet ingredients together first. All right. Then we're going to get one teaspoon of lemon juice. Mix it in. Lovely. So as you guys can see, that looking amazing. All right. So we have that inside of it. We got all of everything so far, the wet ingredients. Um, so what we want to do, we got the, um, this is the, the blending fruits. Do not blend out the fruits like a smoothie. You know, I'm using one and a half cups of fruits inside of it. All right. So you don't want to, um, blend it out and make it look like smoothie. You want to blend it, just rough chop it. That's what you want to do with it. You don't want to, um, yeah. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is put in the, we're going to put in the, the fruits into it now. All right. That means we can know where we are at the moment. So these are all of the, the wet ingredients what we are trying to get. So we're gonna mix it in like this. All right, just mixing the fruits. So these are all of the wet ingredients so we get all the wet ingredients together that's going to be an amazing so that's why i'm trying my best to make you guys see exactly what chef ricardo have been doing with this beautiful cake so you can see that looking lovely all right Exactly what Chef Ricardo been talking about. All right, lovely. So now let's put this aside. All right, we're going to put this aside, and now we're going to come over here with the the secret of everything what's taking place right here. Lovely. All right. So the first thing what we're going to do, we're going to get our spices. This is one and a half cups of plain flour. All right, one and a half cups of plain flour. So if we get our mixed spice, we'll put one teaspoon of mixed spice in it. Let's put a little bit more, just to make sure. That's the mixed spice. Um, Grown it cinnamon powder. We're gonna put some grounded cinnamon powder inside of it, one teaspoon. Um, we got grounded nutmeg, here it is. We're gonna put one teaspoon inside of it. So you're gonna bring in a nice, lovely flavor to the cake. So that's all of the spices. Now we're gonna get some sea salt, all right? So I'm gonna crack some sea salt in it. Rough about half, just a pinch of tea. Now I'm not gonna say pinch, just to make it right. Quarter teaspoon, roughly. All right, you don't wanna be using too much salt cause all of those things, it's got a lot of, you know what I mean, things in to eat already. Um, so what we're gonna do next is Oh, baking powder. We need to get the baking powder. All right, we're gonna put some 
Just, I just want to take my time that you guys can have it perfectly right at home because we don't want to do any any mistake inside of it. That means you guys don't know what we are doing. All right. So we're gonna go into it. One teaspoon of baking powder. And we're gonna put roughly about quarter more teaspoon of baking powder in it. All right, so one and quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Put that one side. Now what you wanna do is combine all of that ingredients together. Because these are your dry ingredients. Mix it really well. You can use a fork, it's better, but you know. And that is lovely, guys. You see that? So once you do that, put that one side. Then you wanna get your dry ingredients. Beautiful one. All right. And then what you're going to do, you're going to sieve in a little bit at a time. All right, so that's going to be the first course of it. Take your time and... So as you can see, all of those, you know what I mean, rough things, we don't need that inside of it. Ruin up a cake. You don't want to ruin up a cake. Then what we're going to do? Fold the tea in. Take your time and fold the tea in. All right. Wow, you can smell. Now you start to smell Christmas, <laughs> to be honest with you. Now we're going to get the rest of the flour. And we're going to just take our time and sieve that things also. Lovely. Now you can see Christmas has just started in the kitchen. Now we're going to take our time and fold it in. All right, guys. It's easy, guys. It's not something where, you know what I mean? And if you're even too late to bake your cake, it still can happen. You can soak some fruits overnight and it still happen. All right. That's looking good, guys. You see? That looking amazing. So you guys can see what Chef Ricardo has been doing right here. Now when you put in that, you can see that things looking good. All right. Now there's um, a secret what you're gonna need to do do now, which you you have to be careful. And I'm gonna say yeah. You're gonna say why Chef Ricardo? Why you have to be careful? Yes, you're gonna have to be careful with this bit right here. Now this bit is the browning i'm using the food browning all right you don't want to be if you want it dark you can make it dark dark if you want it like proper jamaican color then this is what you're going to do so we're going to add one two three four teaspoon of food browning all right then what you want to do you want to fold it inside of it
As I say, if you want it dark, dark, you can get it dark. If you want it like just brownish color, then you know what I mean, not too dark where you know. But Jamaican cake is all about it's a dark color. You know what I mean? So all of the people that want to make it look like say it's a pretty color now. It's not a pretty color. It's supposed to have a lovely darkish color. So I put four, I'll put what? Four and a half. Let's put another um. This is another half a teaspoon inside of it. All right, so you can see from the color how it looks, but when it's cooking, it's going to be dark, all right? But I don't want it too dark, 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 like black. I don't, you know, I want it to just looking really nice. So you can see, all right, beautiful people. What do you think about Chef Ricardo? Okay, I think I may put a little bit more food browning inside of it. Roughly about another teaspoon to make it five teaspoon, all right? We'll put five teaspoon of food coloring. So we're gonna see how it look when it cooks. So you don't want it too dark still, but if it's come out a little bit dark, dark, it doesn't care, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter because that's all about Jamaican cake. It's supposed to have that beautiful darkish look. And all of the ingredients must be room temperature. So if you want it to be like this, and this is how your cake supposed to be looking, guys, okay? Yeah, man, uh, good vibes. That's the texture of the Jamaican black rum fruit cake. All right. Yeah, so this is how you should make your cake look like. That's the proper Jamaican black rum fruit cake, guys. You can see it for yourself. That looks amazing. And this recipe is very simple. And it's very easy, a full ingredients. If you guys need that, get in touch with Chef Ricardo and I can give you the full ingredients. All right, effective 100%. Yeah, what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comment section. So you're going, I'm going to bake this for one hour and 30 minutes, all right? So, that's looking good. One thing I didn't do is what chef color taste it all right let's taste it and see where we are christmas just start Ooh. amazing and fantastic that is lovely the flavor the taste the texture everything is good 100%. You know, someone was saying to me the other day, Chef Ricardo, why you don't do cake and sell it? Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be expensive, guys. Now, I'm going to be using this tool tray because I'm using my air fryer because a lot of people don't have an oven, they have an air fryer. So, what I did, I rubbed some butter inside of it. Now, um, to be honest with you, you can... Some people do this one and it works. Some people just put a little bit of flour inside of it and it works, all right? I, um, I did it before. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. I did it many times. And then what you wanna do, shake it around inside of it like this, all right? And then let's get rid of the excess flour inside of it, lovely. So what we're gonna do is this. And as I said, it's just two medium-sized cake. As you guys can see for yourself, it's not a lot.
can't afford to waste anything, guys. Lovely. See? Empty ball. All right. So, I know you guys are saying, okay. So, what do you want to do? Just get the ear out of it. And it exits ear inside of it just to get rid of the ear inside of it. Okay, as I said before, we're going to be cooking this for one hour and 30 minutes. Okay? And you will see how they look when I take them from the air fryer. I'm using my air fryer. All right, guys? So you will see the version. A good vibes. Okay, beautiful people. So you can see I have put them in this tray right here. All right? Now, man, I would pre-eat it, but um, I did not. Okay? I'm just going to show because I want to show you from start to finish. And hopefully, we pray that it will come out beautiful and nice. Because it's the first I'm using air fryer. I never used it before. So let's do and see what's going to happen. All right, lovely. So over here, uh, I did set my air fryer, but it went off. So we're going to be doing baking. Let's go it up to 1 hour and 30 minutes. Then we go over to 2. We click baking. One hour and 30 minutes. So we're going to pop this in the, it now and see. All right. Lovely. All right. Let's get them. And we're going to put them straight inside. That's one. And this is two. So hopefully we pray to God that everything will come out lovely and nice. All right. So what we're going to do is we have that one. So let's click start. Then this one, we click start. Ah, oh, why I did that, Chef Ricardo? Number one. Uh, uh. It's all right, it's all good. Um, yeah lovely so it start before that one but that's fine it's only a few seconds over so let's do it and let's see what happened a good vibes all right lovely so you guys can see that um i'll show you the full recipe and that's one of my recipe which i normally use for my cake every year so hopefully you guys will um enjoy it and yeah, you, you can do it at home guys to be honest with you it's not it's not too complicated you know what I mean? It's just to get the ingredients um, and everything right. Make sure you have dry ingredients and you have the wet ingredients. So you don't want to you don't want to be doing the two of them one time. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah, a good vibes. So hopefully we have it there. We have see what's gonna happen and hope for good news. All right. Nice one. So I take it from the from my ear fryer, guys. Just 15 minutes ago to let them cool down. What I want to simply say to you, because of an ear fryer I'm using, I never used the ear fryer before, and that's why I really, I know my ear fryer was a little bit, the temperature was a little bit too high on it, but this same mixture, if you put it in the oven, it's going to come out perfect and nice, this same mixture right here, guys. The only thing I would have to do, because I never used the ear fryer, and that's why I was like a little bit skipsy, is put less baking soda you can also put more fruits that's the tips and ideas on it um but perfectly honestly it's really good so if you have a ear fry at home this is what i encourage you to do so we're going to put some alcohol on it and uh, i cut off piece already because that piece i said no because the alcohol we don't want to get some of it without, without alcohol. So we're gonna put roughly about two tablespoons of the rum inside of it. Some rum and some red label wine mixed together. And this is how Jamaica normally do it. Some people spray it on, but I remember my old school, my grandmother would have poured it on it like this. You know what I mean? And soak up the cake. Alright, with the red label wine. 
all right? But I remember these things, guys, honestly. So this same mixture, if I put it in the oven, it'll be different. But I never used the air fryer before, it's the first. So, yeah. Yeah, because the rum and the red label wine soak it up 100%, all right? Yeah, and that looking good. Well, I think there's a little bit too much in this one. Excellent. So what you wanna do, wrap it and ready for Christmas day, all right? So let's see exactly what's going on right here. So this is how it look right here. Definitely is going to be soaking up it. All right. As you guys can see, it's going to soak up this alcohol. So this is all about Christmas. Now, if it is something you want to do at home, my advice, if you want to use the air fryer, it's going to come out like this. But if you use the oven, trust me, 100%. It's gonna be different it's gonna be proper if you want to get it darker you can, as I say you can add a little bit more I put four and a half tablespoon of browning so you can put five if you get it black I like this color to be honest with you you know what I mean I'm happy with this color right here so once you put the alcohol on it definitely it's going to get soak up and you know what I mean you just have to take it out and wrap it into the clean flame all right the Christmas cake now tell me where I do any mistake but this is a recipe which I have long time and this recipe I said oh, what I want to just try it in my air fryer to see what's happened I could use my big oven but I said no I want to use the air fryer to see because if I use the big oven I put water in it so you can control the temperature but this is pretty good guys honestly all right so it's gonna soak up that the cake gonna just soak it up and everything gonna be lovely and nice all right now what you can do is wrap it and ready for christmas it's also a few days away from christmas all right good vibes if you think i do any mistake please correct me as i like to learn i've been baking this cake for years you know what i mean so i know but i'm gonna say i'm not gonna be saying i'm perfect in it you know yeah so you can feel it's getting heavy Perfect. Soak up all of that red label wine and rum. Guys, love one. Thank you so much for watching. See you the next time with more recipes and more ideas. And this is what Chef Ricardo give you today. But as I said, this same mixture, use it into your oven. Perfect. Remember, you can also get yourself a copy of the brand new book. The recipe, I think the recipe is in it for the cake, you know, for the black fruit cake. Yeah, it is inside of this. For the black rum fruit cake uh, someone said to me the other day um i think in, it is in there i could sure it is in this book no uh, it's i know it's in it i'm uh, sure love you know, have a lovely christmas and i'll see you next time bye bye